Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall discuss how to do spin polarization calculation for Hessler alloy using wind 2K. Before going to the details of the calculation, let us discuss first the structure of the Hessler alloys. In the Hessler alloys, the general format is X to Y Z, where X and Y are from the transition metals and Z is the main group element. So, X and Y will be from the this part of the periodic table and Z is from this group usually. Okay. In the Hessler alloys, there are four FCC lattices, face centered cubic lattices inserted each other. So, uh, and if we look at the positions, so there are four positions A, B, C, D. These are repeated, of course. So, uh, A is 0, 0, 0, and B is 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, that is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and C is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and D is 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Now, depending on uh, uh, the positions of X, that is X can go, uh, X can be at both A and C or both A and B. Depending on that, there are two types. So, if X occupies the both A and C position and Y occupies the B position and Z occupies the D position, then the type is called C, uh, copper 2 MN L type and the space group is 225 that is FM minus 3M. I, usually it is it should be like written like this 3 with a bar but uh, in the text or in the web sometimes you will find they write it like this because it is difficult to put a bar sometimes. Now if there is another uh, possibility that here x goes x is occupied by x occupies a and c position but if x occupies a and b that is these two then the uh, space group becomes 216 and uh, uh, the alloy is called uh, mercury 2 copper titanium type so, if we look at the structure, these are the two structure. This is for space group 225. This is for space group 216. So, uh, here I don't know, you can see this. These are um, uh, Mn and these are copper. These are aluminium and here this is titanium, this is mercury and of course this is copper. To get more details about the structure, you may read this paper. This is a very old paper published in 1934 about the structure of Hustler alloys. You can read this one. Now let's move to the calculations. So first I need to create the structure. What I will do, I will show you for this type that is group 225, but you can uh, do also for 216 group and these procedures are very similar. So, I need to create a structure. I will click here, stack generation. Now, I have three atoms in four positions. So, I will select three atoms. I will generate the template. Less and uh, these are uh, FCC. So, we will select FCC here and uh, for the one of the atom, I need two positions. I will add the position here. Now, okay. Let's do with the Mn2 zirconium silicon. So, I will put lattice parameter 6 because uh, for the Hessler alloys is usually uh, about 6. So, this is just, this is not exact value. Remember, this is for the tutorial purpose just. So, the, the, this one will be Mn and the positions are 0, 0, 0 and I will put, since I told you, I will do for this type A and C that is 
0 0.5, 0.5, so other position will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and for the zirconium, let's put the atomic position, it will be B, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Now for the D that is silicon it will be 0.75 that is 3 by 4. So I will write silicon and 0 0.75. So the uh, remember the is at this point we will select space group F because these are all first centered cube when we do uh, the initialization it will reduce to uh, the it will go to the 225 space group and because here it is easy to show so let's save it let's first create the I mean, rmt now let's have a look at this structure so you can see now the MN is at 0, 0, 0, also at um, 0.5, here is the 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is all the positions is repeated and the silicon is 0 0.75. So if this one, the inside one is 0, then you go 0 0.75 is this much and the zirconium is at 0.25. These are repeated here. You can easily visualize that the atomic positions and the four FCC lattices. But if you see this one, you cannot visualize because when in the space group, when you, uh, it's, if you choose the space group 2 to 5, it shows thus as the structure like uh, um, cesium chloride. But this is actually the four FCC lattices inserted each other. Let's go to the numbers. Let me close this one. So we have the structure. Now for the in, go to the initialization. This is usual procedure. You see now the space group, it gives me the warning and it selected the space group 2 to 5. I so I will select yes here. Now you can see it selected the 2 to 5 space group and if you visualize now, you cannot see like before. So this is cesium chloride type structure, but this is actually the 4 FCC lattices. So we'll continue with initialization. Okay, here is the important thing with the RKMX. How to choose? This is the RKMX. This is the first one to uh, in if you read the user guide it says that rkmx is the rmt multiplied by kmx or the rmt is the uh, is the for is the rmt for the smallest element uh, uh, in the system and the rkmx is the highest value of the kmx if you read the user guide or the online manual, how to set a good RKMX value, you will see there is a table for this. So we are using MN, this is that we have. So we'll use the RKMX 8. So we will prepare the input file, it says that the input files seems to be ok for the KMX. So uh, we should uh, actually we depend uh, the KMX, uh, sorry the K points, it depends on how is the system. What we should do, 
uh, we should do the uh, the SF calculation with different K mesh and see when the energy becomes consistent with the change of K max. That is when you change sorry when the, with the change of K points. When so you start with a small K points say with 500, then try with uh, 1000, then maybe with 5000 or something like that whatever you choose and you see at some point the energy value do not change it will be a straight line uh, even if you change the values of k point the point at what uh, it became a straight line you should use that k point so you should do the calculation several times to choose the proper k point for the tutorial purpose we will just select 500 here So we'll, you can view the K list. Okay, you can do this also. Now we'll do a spin polarization calculation. So we'll select here yes, and do click on the start. Now, if you like to choose the antiferromagnetic calculation, you can click here yes, but I will not do so. But I will show you what if you click yes, it will ask you that where you have selected them properly. And uh, if you click here yes, continue, it will uh, you have to uh, uh, provide the rotating vector because when you do antiferromagnetic calculation it is assumed that the from the one spin with a proper rotation vector you can go to the other spin that is it will do the calculation for one spin only say for up spin only and with that rotation vector that you provide it will calculate the down spin uh, properties of the down spin but when you do the uh, spin polarization calculation without anti ferromagnetic it will calculate for both of the spin so what i usually do i usually do, do the spin polarization calculation because this one depends on the system how you defined your system the the rotation vector so i will click here no continue with the scf calculation now i will start here the scf calculation so the calculation has begun you can see now the things change uh, I will not continue the calculation because this is the tutorial purpose. So I show you showed you how to create the structure of this type, but you can also produce the structure of this type. In that case, you have to choose that X occupies both A and B. What I did, I did X occupies both A and C. Now here we I have two more videos that would be helpful for you so if you after the scf calculation if you want to extract the key information like the magnetic moment the band gaps and all other things you can view this one or if you want to analyze the results using the analyze option here analysis you can view uh, watch this video analyze scf using w2 wave also, I have the videos how to calculate the band structure and you can customize the, uh, the points. You can select the points uh, in which points you want to calculate the band structure. Also, you have the, uh, I have a video of calculating DOS and PDOS for the system. So, I hope uh, this will be helpful. Thank you for today.